Hi friends, today I'm going to read Fox um, and we're going to talk a little bit about cause and effect. I hope you enjoy the story. Fox. In the woods amongst the leaves lived a little fox, sly as could be. He lived with his family and each knew their role until something happened that he couldn't control. A big thing happened that made everything change and things as he knew them would not be the same. His parents and sister started acting quite different. He couldn't believe change could feel so instant. Before the big change, he knew what to do, but now life was different and he had no clue. His feelings felt like a big jumbled mess. He felt angry, confused, and tight in his chest. He started to fidget and yelp out in class. He stopped listening to his teacher and hid in the grass. This wasn't the fox that everyone knew. Now his teacher and friends were feeling confused. There were too many mixed up feelings inside. The big change had changed things and he wanted to cry. Sometimes change happens and we have no control. When things are so different with family or school, <clears throat> when things happen that are out of your control, talk to the ones that make you feel whole. If you can't find the words, draw what you're thinking. It can help those around you know what you're feeling. One thing you know is that families, they change. Nothing, not even family, stays exactly the same. But what makes family special is and keeps them together is the strong love that binds their hearts forever. If you feel that love, and I know that you do, name a person you know loves you. When big change happens, and you can bet that it will, comfort yourself with these words that can heal. Repeat after me these things that are true. Let's make little Fox feel better, and maybe you too. I am safe. I am loved. I can get through this part. It's not my fault that things changed. And I can keep an open heart. The end. So if you'll remember, cause and effect um, is what happened and why it happened. So our cause is why something happened and our effect is what happened. So with this story, our cause and effect are going to be that our cause is that something changed that the fox couldn't control and the effect was that it made him feel angry and sad and confused. There could also be another cause and effect and that could be that because the fox felt angry and sad and confused, he had to 
talk to someone that he loved about his feelings to make himself feel better. I hope this helped you with cause and effect, and I hope you enjoyed the story. Have a great day, friends.